In the year 2023, Star Wars had a pretty pivotal moment. We had several shows released this year, including the likes of Mandalorian Season 3, Ahsoka, Bad Batch Season 2, Andor, and other shows such as Season 2 of Star Wars Visions and Young Jedi Adventures. Now, me personally, I thought a majority of these shows were fantastic. Obviously, there were some caveats, such as Season 3 of Mandalorian being a mixed bag. But overall, the highs of 2023 were very high, especially when I'm talking about Andor and Ahsoka. The two flags flagship series of this year really stood out to me and it has me super excited for 2024 but that's not the only thing that I'm excited for. While Andor season 2 definitely will not be coming in 2023 as of new reports, we do know that Ahsoka season 2 is possibly in the early stages of writing confirmed by Dave Filoni. Now speaking of Dave Filoni, one of the biggest things going into 2024 as a Star Wars fan is that Dave Filoni just got another promotion. Dave Filoni is now the CCO of Lucasfilm. And if you don't know what a CCO is, that is the chief creative officer, the one who basically has the keys to all of the narrative and creative story decisions at Lucasfilm. He's essentially doing what Kevin Feige does over at Marvel, overseeing everything, making sure everything is coherent, and making sure the stories being told are worth telling. I've seen an overwhelmingly positive reception to this, and I am in that camp as well because I personally think that everything Dave Filoni has touched has been worthwhile. Sure, we have some misses here and there with some filler episodes and some shows, but overall, all, Dave Filoni is the technical heir to George Lucas. Having Dave Filoni in control with Kathleen Kennedy for Lucasfilm is a great start to what can possibly be another amazing five plus years into the future of Star Wars. So in this video, I want to get you guys ready for those upcoming shows and possibly movies that are going to be coming out in not only next year, but in the possible future. Starting with 2024, we have to talk about the two shows that are confirmed. We know we're getting The Acolyte and we know we are getting Skeleton Crew. Starting with The Acolyte, apparently there was a trailer shown at some sort of Comic-Con or Star Wars celebration that shows the trailer for this show, and I know it's out there, but I haven't personally watched it because I want to be able to watch it in full quality when it eventually drops. And people are actually pretty excited about this from what I hear, and it apparently takes place way before the events of The Phantom Menace, giving us the earliest stages of the Star Wars universe that we haven't seen before, set in the High Republic. No, it's not going all the way back to the Old Republic like some of us, myself included, would like, but this is a start. I've heard that there's going to be plenty of Jedi in this show, maybe even some Sith, and the Sith might be even a central plot point to the show. This is all very cool sounding, very exciting, and it looks like the action of this show is going to be great as well. I want to learn more about this. It seems very intriguing, and I think the number one thing that Star Wars needs is that intrigue for storytelling. We don't just want to see characters we've seen before. We want new plot points, new characters that actually are conveying emotions that we can connect to and sort of are interested in seeing every week on TV. And The Acolyte seems like it's going to be that show, and I have my fingers crossed that now with Dave Filoni in the center of the creative control room, him teaming up with this team for The Acolyte is going to make some real magic happen. Now switching gears over to The Mandalorian, we know that season three was kind of a mixed bag. It was for me at least. There were some fantastic moments, especially with Bo Katan, but a lot of things felt sort of disjointed and really just felt weird. The episode with Jack Black and Lizzo, the episode where Dr. Pershing eats some ice cream on Coruscant, and the simple fact that Moff Gideon returns in the last episode and just, well, spoiler alert, dies? It just felt weird to me, and it felt like things were rushed in order to prevent them having to continue this story and wanting to maybe tell a different story. I'm hoping for all of the best in Mandalorian Season 4, and while this doesn't come out in 2024, it looks like they are going to be shooting next year. Now, the other show coming out in 2024 looks to be Skeleton Crew. Again, we don't yet have a full trailer for this show. People who have seen the trailer at events have many different things to say. They only got to see some sort of screenshots and clips. I guess Jude Law is going to be playing a main character in this show, and there's actually a Lego set that's supposedly coming out. I don't know enough about this show. I know Dave Filoni is in control of it, so I naturally have faith in it. Now, switching from TV to movies, there's actually been some rumblings about the possible next Star Wars film. It's been a long time since we've had a Star Wars movie, and it looks like they're going to be continuing the saga after Episode 9. Look, like the sequel trilogy or hate the sequel trilogy, you have to respect them trying to go in and fix it and make it better and just continue the story forward. They're not going to give up. It seems like Rey is going to be the main character, and I think Rey and all of the characters from the sequel trilogy are great. They just needed better writing and the story needed to be much more cohesive. Now with these amazing writers and directors behind the lenses in the control rooms of Lucasfilm, I think that we're going to get something great here. And Daisy Ridley herself said she read some sort of draft or script or something and she was very excited and very shocked at where the story is going to go. I have a feeling that they're probably going to connect the Mandoverse, Ahsoka, and everything like that to the greater Star Wars story. So bring it. 
Again, it's very early to even tell if they're going to be shooting this movie anytime soon. I think it's a little too early to even get into that stage of talking, but there definitely are things going on behind the scenes in regards to this film, and I'm very excited to see what comes out of it. I think they've learned their lessons in the past, as Marvel is kind of doing right now, and really wants to steer the ship right and make things memorable and make things great for their audience. Another film that was sort of in development was Taika Waititi's Star Wars film, and who knows when or if that movie is even happening. He's apparently coming out and making some comments kind of against Marvel and I, I don't know there's drama there I don't really like to get into the drama but I'm hoping for the best he did say this movie is gonna quote piss people off that's not really a good sign considering what happened with Thor Love and Thunder when he said that movie was gonna piss people off but the main gist of this is that Dave Filoni is in control alongside Kathleen Kennedy and I think they're gonna make some magic happen while I am kind of bummed that Andor season 2 and another season of Bad Batch aren't coming out next year I do think it's nice to pump the brakes a little bit and make Make sure the quality is kind of over the quantity. Let me know down below what you guys think about the upcoming slate of Star Wars projects. We know we're kind of in a drought right now, so now is the time to really get those thoughts down and let me know what you think and what you want to see in the future of Star Wars. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could hit that subscribe button on the way out, it would mean so much to me. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. I'm hoping we can get there soon, and we're going to do a giveaway at 1,000. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all very soon.